I'm Ting He. I'm an associate professor in computer engineering in the College of Engineering at Penn State. The computer engineering program focuses on the design and analysis of computer systems, including processor architectures, memory systems, storage, and communication networks for a variety of platforms, from low-end embedded systems to high-performance servers. Computer engineering majors are trained from the basics of component-level hardware design to system-level integration of major components of computing systems. They are also trained in software systems to run different applications. Computer engineering students complete coursework in a wide range of areas covering fundamental math and science, electronic circuits, digital systems, VLSI, computer architecture, communication networks, data structure and algorithms, and operating systems. Demand for computer engineering students is strong across many areas, since computational elements are present in everything, from appliances to cars, to apparel, to electrical grids, to data centers. The Penn State Computer Engineering Program is structured to ensure that our graduates have a clear understanding of the design and applications of current and emerging computer systems and are prepared to be the leaders in the rapidly changing field of computing. We are stepping into a new information age where almost everything is powered by some computing devices and being a computer engineering major, it enables you to be part of it, to design it and build it. I got my first computer when I was eight years old. I always enjoyed the computers, but what was really exciting was figuring out how they worked. Computer engineering lets us take a look at the underlying technology, the, the, the bits and bytes, the chips, the fabs that make the hardware work um, while still having that exposure to the software side. Something unique about computer engineering is that it bridges the gap between two other engineering fields. You get to be in courses that are purely software, you get to be in courses that are purely hardware, and you sort of get to decide where you want to lie within that spectrum. We have classes that go from the very basics of theory and algorithms going all the way up to the very practical building an app, everything like that. So we had some classes which were completely theory, but they had some labs which were very hands-on. Like we take this class uh, on operational amplifiers and it's a lot of math and figuring out how signals uh, can be amplified. But then at the very end, we got to make a circuit of our own which worked as a karaoke board, which was amazing because it takes music in, it amplifies the correct signals, to create just the karaoke part of it, which is just the back soundtrack, which was super interesting to me. So that's one example. We're at the cusp of some great technology breakthroughs as far as 5G and machine learning. 5G will bring new tools for engineers and it's really a good time to get into technology. Every vertical industry out there is being affected by computer technology, um, not just the typical software companies that we hear about. So when you get a degree like this, you have the opportunity to work down in the trenches, building solutions across any industry out there, as well as spreading further out into sales, systems architecture, network administration, as you're leveraging what you learn about how computers work um, and the, the ways that you can build code and the ways that you can mix hardware and software to solve problems. You can do anything and everything you want with it, including starting your own company from right here, since we have resources like the Launchbox or the Nittany AI. I love the possibilities that come with it. I hope to contribute to any project that helps other people experience more, do more, get more out of life um, because of something I contributed to. I started out as a network engineer, moved on from there to a software developer. Um, I then spent time as a system architect designing large systems, moved on to business management, sales, and finally executive and entrepreneurship all from a computer engineering degree. So the opportunities are really boundless um, as you work in this space. Computer engineers are basically the architects, the designers uh, that are tasked to implement various visions that uh, people dream of about the future. Those are not just the dreams. Um, with the advance of technology, we're starting to realize those uh, visions step by step and you can really join it and have a part of it as a computer engineering major.